This is Jacob Wilson from Alt Rock Live. We're here at Monster Energy's Aftershock Festival, the second day. And this is James of Asking Alexandria. How are you doing today, man? Uh, doing well, thank you. Can't complain. How does it feel to be at Aftershock? Fucking, shit. Fucking awesome, man. Fucking yeah. awesome indeed, yeah. Really yeah. good, really good. First time playing here, so uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be good. So I dig the new album from Death to Destiny, and the evolution of the band's music is very obvious listening to the previous two albums, especially the new one. Yeah. Um, what was that experience of growing and changing like as a band for you? Uh, I mean, uh, the, 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 the main thing is we just grew up a lot, you know? Like, when we, when we released our first album, like, we were like teenagers, man. Like, I was 19 and shit. Like, now we're like mid-20s, you know? We just, we just grew up a lot. We like, this is the music we like, this is the music we want them produce and this is us you know this is yeah. it's a very it's a very honest album i feel a very mature honest album this is what we are right now you know so it was it was kind of a natural progression it wasn't it was no conscious oh well we did this to begin with and now we want to do this it was just this is <clears throat> the music we write you know every album we just we write the music we want to write you know and that's that's that you know People like it, people like it, people do like it, so it's fucking sweet. Yeah. To me, it sounds like uh, Danny's voice from the first record has just matured and grown so much. Um, I even say it kind of sounds similar to like Corey Taylor at points in the new album. Well, well, How do you feel about that? Well, like I said, man, we were, we were young. Danny's one of the younger guys in the band. Like, yeah. He was very young when he, when he recorded those vocals for Stand Up and Scream, you know, like... He, like I said, we, we this is the, we just evolved into this as we're growing into men, you know. It's like this is this is what we want to do, and that, and, and that is what Danny wants to sing like. He sings a lot lower, a lot like um, I think he sounds a lot fuller now, you know. I'd agree, yeah. Not so like high and like uh, like fairy and shit. He's like he sings like a fucking dude now. And I, I fucking love it. I love the way he sings right now. Yeah, I definitely love the new the new vocal change. Just the change overall, it's it's great. Uh, what's the overall feedback been from fans with the new material? I, everyone's been loving it, man. Everyone's really supportive of it. Everyone's really liking it, you know. And it, it, we we just we just released uh, a video for the death of me, and we released the video for the rock mix, which is, I mean, it's not at all really that heavy, you know. It's got no like screaming, no breakdowns or anything. And everyone's still loving it, you know? I'm, I'm really happy with how people are accepting it. It's great. So you guys are hitting the road soon again with Korn and Love and Death. Yep. How does it feel to be embarking on a tour with Korn? Dude, it's fucking sweet, man. I mean, I, I've liked Korn since I was a kid, you know? I, a lot of our guys have, like, a huge, like, a band I grew up listening to, and, like, we got to play with them in Europe, the great guys. It's gonna be a fucking cool tour, man. It's gonna be a really cool tour. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm just, it's gonna be. I'm stoked. It's gonna be cool. Yeah, All Rock Live is hoping to be at the the LA show, so maybe we'll see you there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, now we're going on to some submissions from fans. We took some questions over Twitter and narrowed it down to about five questions. So we're gonna start with those. Um, at underscore Laura Warsnop underscore asked, what made you want to become a drummer in the first place, and how long did it take you to get good at playing? Uh, I, I, I wanted to become a drummer in the, uh, like, re, when I was about like 13, and it was because I was friends with um, like a, one, of my, one of my best friends. He was a bass player. His older brother was a guitarist. His, his dad was a guitarist. Like, I'd go into his house, and they'd like jam out and shit, and I'd be like, well, I want to like join in. And I was like, well, they don't have a drummer. So I chose to become a drummer, but then I, I actually found out my granddad was a drummer. So like, it just became it became very naturally to me. So it sort of started there, you know, when I was yeah. when I was a young kid, just because I wanted to like sort of fit in with what they were doing, and then it was spawned from there, and it became just it went from just being a hobby to being like a profession, you know, like that's that's what I wanted to do. It took me like it took me a good few years to become good, you know. It's like like anything, you've got. A, You've got to work hard and practice and do your shit, earn your stripes, you know, to become any good at anything, so. Yeah, definitely. On to the next one. Uh, of Mice and Maddie wants to know, what's the craziest thing you've done on tour? Fuck, dude. <laughs> There's a lot of shit that we've done on tour. It's pretty crazy. Um, trying to fucking think of something awesome. Dude, it, 
honestly, just just being on tour is probably the craziest shit you can ever do. Like, it, it, it's just it's just so many insane experiences, meeting so many new people, um, just getting to travel the fucking world. It's in it in itself is just an insane experience. Yeah. Every day is something new, you know. Like like today we're in Sacramento, tomorrow we're gonna be there. Like. Next day we're going to be in fucking Europe. You know what I mean? It's just everything's crazy. I'm so. Yeah, I can only imagine what it's like to just travel the world with a group of some of your best friends, make music, and make people happy. You know? Yeah, it's 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 de it's really insane. It really is. Uh, Pena Victoria or Pina Victoria. I'm sorry if I slaughtered your last name there. Pena Victoria 13 wants to know: Did you ever think asking Alexandria was going to be this big when you guys first started? Uh, well, I mean. We all had dreams and hopes of it being like this way, and um, I think the, the, re the real reason why we got this big is the desire. You know, we like we wanted, and we had a vision, we had a fucking goal, we wanted to achieve it, and I think that's you know, we like like I said, we all wanted it, but I don't know. Like when I, back then, I thought I never thought I'd be here. I thought I'd be at a certain stage, but now we've surpassed that stage, so. I don't know. Probably say I don't think I'd ever be this, be in this position, but I've always dreamt of it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Any profession is definitely all about the time and the effort and the hard work that you put into it. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. It really is. You can't get you can't get anywhere in anything without fucking working your ass off, man. You really. Yeah. Is. You have to. Uh, so Loza a fucking a wants to know what does the future hold for Asking Alexandria? Just up, up and away, up, up and away. We're gonna, we're gonna be touring a lot. We, like I said, we've just released this album. I'm really proud of it. I really think it's gonna take us to like a next level, you know. Um, yeah, just shitloads of touring. Just look out for us. We're gonna be doing all sorts of shit, a lot of stuff. Like there's a lot of stuff planned that is um, pretty crazy, pretty different. So it's. Just keep keep an eye, like watch this space. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy shit happening. Yeah, your drumming is just I mean, kind of a side point, but your drumming is as long as, as well as uh, Danny's vocals are just it's progressed so much, man. Like thank you. Very impressed with the new album. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Death underscore destiny wants to know <laughs> kind of a silly question, but I figured I'd add it in. Would you ever go to Mars and taste a bit of the moon to see if it's really cheese? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, why not? I'd do it. It'd probably take me like a lifetime to get there, but I'd have a go. Hell yeah. So he is down, uh, death underscore destiny. Who knows? <laughs> All right, man. All Rock Live is a fan-based community. It's a music website for the fans. Speaking to them to close up the interview, do you have any um, last comments to the fans? Um, just please go out, get our album. I'm really proud of it. We're all really proud of it. I feel like it is... Um, you know the next uh, next step in for us and for I think you know modern metal music. Um, just go out, enjoy it. I do. Yeah, come see us live. Yeah, you won't be you won't be disappointed. <laughs> uh, what about social media links for fans to keep up with you? Uh, shit. Well, Ask Alexandria Official is our website. Um, if you search Ask Alexandria on Facebook, you're gonna see us. We're the one with the most likes, so <laughs> it's pretty easy to find. Uh, a fucking A on Twitter. Yeah, just keep yeah, keep a lookout. We'll be posting shit all the time. Awesome, James. I wanted to thank you so much for your time thank and you. enjoy your day at Aftershock, thank man. Thank you very much, man. Take Cheers. care.